Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to ensure that the Mac you are buying used is the correct Mac you want to buy. So firstly, you're going to want to go to the very top left of the screen. There's an Apple symbol. Click on that and go into About This Mac. There's a, very, there's a serial number on the bottom of it, but we will get into that in a bit. Firstly, ensure that the specifications of the Mac are correct to what you are wanting to buy or what the ad is listed. I like to highlight this because it is easier to read it and I make sure that I don't make a mistake when buying an expensive piece of equipment like a Mac. Next you're going to go into the Displace and Storage tabs to further ensure the quality of the Mac that you are buying. Back to Overview, you're going to want to select the serial number and go on to a website such as everymac.com and this website will allow you to search the exact serial number to ensure that it is the year that you want with the specifications you want. You will have to fill out a short catch buff, and after that you'll see the Mac. Mine, for example, is a MacBook Pro Core i7 2.0 15-inch late 2013 Retina display. After satisfying yourself with the results of that, you're going to X out of all tabs. You're going to want to X out of all tabs, hold down the Alt key, and click on the System Information tab. Go underneath the power setting and check the cycle count. Usually if it is over 500, the battery won't last you very long and you should consider other options or offering a lower price. Next, you're going to want to check the diagnostics to make sure that the system has passed. It will usually give you a date and a time that it has passed. X out of that. Select the trackpad in System Preferences. Turn off Tap to Click just to ensure that the trackpad works fully without having that on. Now go into something such as notes or pages or something that you can type with. Even the internet browser should work. For this, I'm going to be using notes. Now, slide your finger across the keys one through plus, following all the keys, making sure that they all pop up on the screen because if they don't, this signifies having some sort of damage to the motherboard or damage to the connector cables. And after doing this, you are done. Thank you very much.